Why am I making this video? Because I just want to. Anyway, it's kind of a neat matrix here of uh, basically eight cubes, let's say. You can see the outline here. Two, three, four, oh, one base of one cube. And uh, what, I'm, what I have here is, first of all, vZone software and zone tool doesn't allow for you to have an edge being the same between the VE vector equilibrium and the icosahedron. So what I have here is basically what we've been calling the super rhombic tricontahedron inside of a cube that is 2 times phi or 3.23606. And so, therefore, the edge of the larger cube octahedron is phi times the square root of 2. And therefore, then, the edge of the icosahedron, I have highlighted a face here. It's kind of hidden behind the triangle face of the cube octahedron, but there it is. That has edge of 2. And so... I'm just overlaying a bunch of things. I have the, um, the, let's see if I get this on this frame here. Okay. Boom. Okay. This here is the face of a Rami tricontahedron, the super tricontahedron. And I just kind of want to show the um, E modules. They're actually E3 modules because they're the long length from the center to the face is 1.618 or 5 to the first power. I'll take it off this snap mode and put it in perspective again, just so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. You're probably wondering why I highlighted or filled in the faces of these little cubes in the middle. Well, they are basically the cube in the center. As you can kind of see, it's a phi ratio on the edge. So it's like from here to here is, well, I don't want to highlight that. I could try to hit the points, but I want to go from here to here is edge 1. And so then from here to here is 1.618. But it's broken up into three parts. And they are from here to here, as well as from here, and as well as from here, I keep highlighting that, to here is 0.618034. Add those together, you get 1.236068. And then you have from here to here. Can't make the dots. See? Can't hit it. Too small. And from here to here is uh, 0.381966. So you add those three together and you get 1.618034. So then, therefore, the cube that I've illuminated in there is a cube with edge. Phi to the negative 2, and it has a volume of phi to the negative 6. Basically, I just thought this looked cool, so I want to show you. But it is interesting to see that now the edge of this cube octahedron where I've highlighted one triangle face here, you can see the green lines, that edge is larger than the edge in the VE that's jitterbugs down to the icosahedron. But it is interesting that the way that the triangle for the icosahedron here, slices through the cube quite precisely and through three of its points. That's, I find that fairly significant. And uh, they, um, it has to do with phi scaling, of course, but it's what this cubic matrix is all about. I thought I'd just make this thing to show some people that there's fun in there.